Chilan Samarawira completed his maiden 100 in the LV County Championship, but it's going to take some work from the Worcestershire and Leicestershire captains on the last day to try to create a positive result at New Road after Ned Eckersley followed suit with his own ton. Just 104 overs have been possible on the opening two days, so Worcestershire began the third still in their first innings on 294 for seven, with Samarawira needing eight more for his ton. At least they started on time and Shaikh Chowdhury soon had his team passing 300 for their third batting point. The declaration now depended on when Samarawira made it to three figures. It took him just 20 minutes to convert his overnight 92 to that ton. It may have been the 42nd of his career, but his little air punt showed just how much a ton in this competition matters to the professional cricketer. His had come off 225 balls and once reached, Worcestershire declared on 320 for 7 in the 110th over. For Worcestershire to try to win without further private discussions, they now needed early wickets, but Neil Pinner put down an edge offered by Michael Thornley. The home side needed to make the new ball work and work fast. With a heavy roller bat this summer, there have been wickets across the country with the new ball, while batting gets much easier it seems once the shine disappears and the pitch flattens. So Thornley and his partner Nile O'Brien would have been pleased with their work right up until lunch as they slowly but surely put on 51 runs for the opening wicket. With each boundary, any chance of a normal win by claiming 20 wickets was evaporating. There was some pitch assistance for the spinner, however, and on the stroke of lunch, Chowdhury bowled an absolute ripper to bowl Thornley for 17. Eckersley had fewer problems against the turning ball after the break and he was soon playing some splendid shots as he added a further 55 runs with O'Brien for the second wicket. The Irishman was out for 46, bowled by Moen Alley, for whom this was his 100th first-class wicket. Given that the ball was turning sharply at times, it was perhaps surprising that the home side were unable to conjure up any more wickets for the rest of the day, which finished a little early because of the light. Eckersley and Ramnaresh Sarwan gritted their teeth and got set for the long haul ahead. Eckersley has made the number three spot his own at Leicestershire now. He hit and undefeated 99 in the season's opener at Hampshire, denied his ton only by the weather, and this neat shot took into a 50 here off 110 balls, that being his fifth boundary. It wasn't exactly scintillating stuff as the afternoon wore on, although that's to take nothing away from Eckersley's efforts. He masked everything that was thrown at him and has proved again that he has the stickability factor. Admittedly, he may well face attacks a little more ferocious than this Worcestershire one this season, but he was good against the spinners in tough conditions. He tried to ensure that they didn't settle and when the ball was tossed up, he laid into it with some thumping shots. It was an ideal innings really, a real mixture of a good defence and shots of power struck over the infield. He was ensuring that Worcestershire's hopes of trying to enforce a follow-on was never really on the cards. Sarwan, meanwhile, batted well within himself, these boundaries being the exception rather than the rule as the run rate barely got above two and a half runs per over throughout the day. Indeed, by the close, the West Indian had been at the crease for two and a quarter hours for his 46. Eckersley was more fluent and, having been denied that 100 in Southampton, he made sure he got one here before the weather closed in once again. It was the 23-year-old's third first-class 100 and it had come off 173 balls and had included 12 fours. It was a fine knock indeed. He added a couple more boundaries to his tally before the close, by which time he had 108 runs to his name. His career best of 137 made in Cardiff last summer is not a million miles away now, depending on whether the two captains can come to an agreement on where this game should go on its final day. As for this one, well, it ended with Leicestershire on 229 for two after 86 overs. That leaves them 91 runs behind on first innings, the kind of position which at least gives the captains some room to manoeuvre to try to set up a game on the last day.